Hallelujah. Praise the name of the living God. I bless God for you. I bless God for everyone that is watching this video. And I want to take this opportunity to say a happy new year. Happy fruitful 2022. Now, my name is Brian Sempewa, and I want to share with you the word that God has placed on my heart. And I believe this is going to enable you to walk a victorious and successful Christian life in this year of 2022. So many wonderful things the Lord has done in 2021, but I believe there is even so much more that He wants to do in this new season. Remember, seasons were created by God. Time was created by God. In the book of Genesis chapter 1, the Bible reveals to us that God created the sun and the moon. And guess what he said? They shall be for seasons and they are for times. Now, there's so many people who rubbish uh, Rema words for the year. Why, why should you say that this year is the year of this? This year is the year of this. Hey, look, God is a God of times. He's a God of times. The Bible says when the day of Pentecost was fully come, the Holy Spirit came down, meaning there is always an appointed time. There is always an appointed time for things to happen in the spiritual realm and to manifest in the natural realm. It was not a mistake when Jesus was born at the time when he was born. Realize the prophecy is given by Isaiah, but then it is fulfilled 500, over 500 years after when Mary, uh, a virgin, now gives birth to Jesus Christ. So it is important to understand the seasons and the times that we are living in. And as I was praying, the word of God came to me. This is something I've been meditating on for months. But then the Lord confirmed it that this is the year and this, this is the word that he has given us for this year, 2022. And I wish to share it with you. Now, in Psalms 115, verses 12 to 15, this is what the word of God says. I'm going to read from the NIV, the New International Version. This is what the word of God says. Listen. The Lord remembers us and will bless us. He will bless his people Israel. He will bless the house of Aaron. He will bless those who fear the Lord. Small and great alike. May the Lord cause you to flourish. Both you and your children. May you be blessed by the Lord. The maker of heaven and the earth. Now, someone might say, but this is concerning Israel. This is concerning the house of Aaron. Hey, the word of God lets us know that the God we serve is the same yesterday, today, and forever. And in Malachi, he actually says, I am the Lord and I change not. He doesn't change. The same word he spoke to the children of Israel is the same word that is still alive today and it can still work for you today. This is why when you open the scriptures and you go to them and you see a certain promise, you can stand on the promise to pray concerning a request or a concerning an issue that you have today. Because when the Lord releases his word, it is living and active. The word of God does not die. Even if he released it 2,000 years ago or 4,000 years ago or 5,000 years ago, it doesn't matter. The word of God is living and active. Not for one year, not for two years, not for three years, not for four years. It is living and active. Why? Because the word of God is literally God himself. I don't want to go into that, but I want you to understand that the same word that we might be reading from the scriptures spoken many years ago is the same word that can still give you life today. And this is what the word of God is saying concerning this season. I'm going to center on verses 14 and verses 15. This is what the word of God says. He says, may the Lord cause you to flourish, both you and your children. May you be blessed by the Lord the maker of heaven and earth. This is my prayer for you in this year of 2022. May the Lord cause you to flourish. Hallelujah. I'm saying this is your year to flourish. 
This is your year to flourish in every area of your life. This is your year to flourish in business. This is your year to flourish in your family matters. This is your year for your children to flourish. He says, by the Spirit of God, by the anointing of the Lord that was upon the man of God, David, he said, may the Lord bless you and your children. Meaning, the blessing of God that is going to manifest in your life in this year is not just for you alone. It is for you and all that surrounds you. It is for you and your family. It is for you and your husband. It is for you and your wife. It is for you and your children. It is for you and your grandchildren. I am saying this year you will flourish. Your grandchildren will flourish. I am saying this is your year to flourish. Now, while I was reading and trying to study and getting into the depth of it, I went into the Hebrew and the Greek to understand what does this word flourish mean? What does it mean? And guess what I found out? It was so exciting. It has a worth of meanings. And one of them, it was happiness. So when we talk about the year of flourishing, I'm saying this is your year to be happy. This is your year of happiness. Remember, when we talk about happiness, when we talk about joy as Christians, as children of God, we are not talking about an emotion. Though it is something that can be expressed in emotions. But ours goes beyond emotion. David says, the, the, David says that the joy of the Lord is my strength. Meaning in this year, even the moments where you will seem to be at your lowest point, at your lowest of emotions, where there seems to be no excitement physically. Hey, you can depend on God this year, this year of flourishing. You can depend on the Lord and the joy of the Lord that is in your spirit by the power of the Holy Ghost will cause you to flourish. It will be your strength to take you from one level of glory to another another level of glory. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the living God. So that is just one meaning. Happiness. The other one is completeness. Glory to God. The other meaning of flourish is completeness. To be complete. Lacking nothing. Coming short in nothing. Having an abundance. Being complete. Being mature. Being techno. Hallelujah. Being mature in every area of your life. So this is your, your year of being complete. Remember, the word of God tells us in Ephesians that when he had ascended on high, he gave gifts unto men. Then he starts naming them, some pastors, some apostles, some teachers, some evangelists, some prophets. And he says, all this is for the edification of the saints. And he says the purpose is that we may present them and we may all become mature men in Christ, mature sons in Christ. So the purpose of God even speaking to you right now is because he wants you to be complete, complete in health. Complete in finances, complete in strength, complete in your vision. What did you start last year and it has failed to be completed? Did you start on a building project? Did you start on your education? And it seems like it is, hey, this is year, your year of completeness. Praise the name of the living God. Maturity, peace, prosperity, and contentment. I said the word flourish has the following meanings in the Hebrew and the Greek. Happiness, completeness, maturity, peace, prospering, and contentment. And there are so many more. This was so exciting for me. Imagine what is going to happen to you in this year. As a child of God, there is happiness that has been prepared by God for you. It is part of God's plan for you in 2020. 22. There is maturity that has been that awaits you. There is a completeness. There is a level of completeness that awaits you in this year. There is a level of peace that awaits you in this year. There is a level of contentment that awaits you this year. Now, as I come to a conclusion of this, see, in the book of Genesis, chapter 26, and verses, and verses 4, this is what the word of God says. Now, I realized in my study that actually when God spoke to Abraham in Genesis chapter 26 and verses 
for saying, in your offspring, all nations of the earth shall be blessed. The same can be translated in your offspring, all the nations of the earth shall flourish. The same word for blessing is the same word for increase and is the same word for flourishing. Are you with me? Now, the word of God comes to Abraham and it is saying, in your offspring, all the nations of the earth shall be blessed. Now, you need to understand that when he talks about in your offspring, he did not say in your offsprings. He talked about offspring as in singular. Offspring as in singular. Now, when he says in your offspring, he was talking about a particular offspring. And that is talking about the seed, Jesus Christ. The seed of Abraham, Jesus Christ. And the Bible says, we are of that seed. We are of that offspring. We are of Christ Jesus. Now, as a child of God, you can be content. You can be confident. You can trust God that this word is for you. In Jesus Christ, you are entitled and you are supposed to experience a life of blessing. Because this is what the Lord promised Abraham, that in your offspring, talking about Jesus Christ, in Jesus Christ, you and all the nations shall be blessed. Child of God, when you believed in the Lord of Jesus Christ, you entered an environment that assures you of being blessed, that assures you of flourishing, that assures you of prosperity, that assures you of happiness, that assures you of completeness, that assures you of peace. No wonder Jesus shows up on the scene and he says, I am the prince of peace. <laughs> I am saying this year will be your year of peace. This year is your year of flourishing. Now, Jesus spoke of himself in John chapter 10 and verses 9 saying, I am the door. Oh, shall I brother Gabba say? He said, I am the door. If anyone enters by me, he will be saved and go in and find pasture. He says, I am the door to your blessing. Jesus is the door to your prosperity this year. Jesus is the door to your peace this year. And if any man enters in by him, if any man enters the blessing by him, if any man enters prosperity by him, you can be assured there is so much green pasture that awaits you. Oh, to feed on, to make sure that you truly become that which God has intended you to become. Praise the name of the living God. In Psalms chapter 1, it says that we who trust in God, we who trust in Jesus Christ, we are like a tree that has been intentionally, not merely carried by the wind, but intentionally planted by the riverside. And we can bear fruit in season and out of season. Our leaves cannot wither. I'm talking about flourishing. I am saying you've been planted by God intentionally in Jesus Christ. And in Jesus Christ, I can tell you there is no wind of 2022 that is going to blow you away. There is no wind of 2022 that is going to blow you from success. But instead, it is going to blow you in your favor. It is going to blow you with one intention of you flourishing. Oh, Shara Dagamba Tadara. Yes, this is your year of flourishing. You see, in Psalms, in Proverbs chapter 31, he talks about this woman. The virtuous woman. How she provides for her family. How she's a strong woman. I can tell you by the anointing of the Holy Ghost that is on my life right now. I am saying this is the picture of you in 2022. You will flourish. And the city where you live will call you the flourishing woman. The flourishing man. The village where you are. They will call you blessed. Your children will call you blessed. Because the spirit of God has launched you into another city season, another season where you will flourish in every area of your life. Praise the name of the living God. As a ministry, 
as the church of Jesus Christ. This is our year of flourishing. This is our year of flourishing in the gospel. This is our year of flourishing in every area of our life. The word of God says, let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works. Hey, child of God, this is your year to flourish. This is your year to shine. This is your year to light up. Let your light so shine. May you flourish that everyone around you will see what God is doing in your life and they will give glory to God. I pray for you that this year your life will flourish and shall be an inspiration to many to believe in the Lord of G Je- in the Lord Jesus Christ. Many will believe in him as a healer because he's healing you. Many will believe him as the God who prospers because he's prospering you. Many will believe him as the God of peace because they are going to see the peace of God in your life flourishing. Hallelujah. 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 May you flourish. May you flourish in your business. May you flourish in your education. May you flourish in your studies. May you flourish in your marriage. Those of you who are preparing to get married, may you flourish in that relationship in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Those of you who are preparing to enter business, yes, may you flourish with new business ideas, fresh business ideas. May the wisdom of God cause you to flourish. May you move from one level flourishing to another level flourishing. Let every month be a different month of a different level of flourishing. In the name of Jesus Christ, may you move from glory to glory. May you flourish in the knowledge of God. May you flourish in the revelation of God. May you flourish in the glory of God. May you flourish in the peace of God. May you flourish in the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ. Oh, Shalabayaba, you minister who's watching me right now, may you flourish in your ministry. You will pray for the sick and they shall be healed. Blind eyes will open. The deaf ears will be open. In the name of Jesus Christ, the lamb will walk. Your ministry will bring glory to God. Many who are poor will join your ministry and they will become rich for the glory of God. I declare by the anointing of the Holy Ghost upon my life right now that this is your year of flourishing. Welcome to 2022. The year of flourishing. In the name of Jesus Christ, may you flourish. I pray for you that you and your children, may the Lord cause you to flourish. You see, in Corinthians, he says, who gives the increase? Who causes the increase? It is the Lord himself. He's the Lord of the increase. He's the Lord of flourishing. He's the Lord of blessing. May he bless you. May you flourish. In Jesus' mighty name, I love you. I love you. God bless you. Happy New Year. Happy 2022. May you have a fruitful year full of flourishing. In Jesus' name, amen.